Madam Web news. Yes. It has come out. Don't worry. We already watched it. We did, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. We don't have to watch it again. Don't worry. Well, we probably will at some point. Yeah. Uh, this is via Bustle, the magazine. I know, the Bustle, the magazine for women. Whatever, yeah. Yeah. So Dakota Johnson was talking about being in that movie and she said, yeah, I had the- Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a dark time in my career. Way back to three weeks ago. Yeah. I had the LA premiere for Madame Web, and then went to Mexico City. I had pneumonia and was on steroids and the nebulizer and doing all these th- little things. And I was really, really sick and felt horrible. I looked horrible. I was like, ugh. And then this movie came out and it was like, I can't take any of this seriously at all. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised that this has gone down the way it has as in the reception and whatever. Mm. And, it, and I don't make sense in the, that world. So she was like, yeah, just, I mean, she's been distancing herself from this movie ever since. Before it came Something out. Something I can remember. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not really surprising. But apparently. I think in her, like uh, when Melanie Griffith mm. announced the birth of her child, Dakota Johnson, yeah. I think in that birth announcement, she was already distancing herself from that true? Adam Webb. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. But, you know, fate, you can't outrun it. That's true, yeah. Which is the point of Madam Webb. That maybe. is the point of Madam Webb. Was it? Or you could. And you could change it if you wanted I think you could to. change it you could visit you your mum in a dream. Yeah, you can, ki- you can kill a guy earlier than you thought you would. <laughs> that's the that's the, the, less, the moral lesson you've learned. You go, just do it. Yeah. You know, don't. Just, just get him. The, you could go now. The, that's the moral lesson is don't hesitate. No. You know. If you're thinking of killing a guy, yeah. why not? That's right. And drink Pepsi while you're doing it. <laughs> Maybe kill him with a Pepsi. You could. You could. Yes. We endorse that. Yep. We're Pepsi. <laughs> So then we had this from the Daily Mail. I've written in brackets, could be bullshit mm. because it's the Daily Mail. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, this wouldn't surprise me if it was, but it's fun to talk about. Dakota, Dakota Johnson is reportedly accused of dragging the film and failing to take any responsibility after admitting she hadn't seen the film herself before going to make several damning statements about the production. When they say, like, accused mm. of dragging the J'accuse, film. J'accuse, Dakota yeah, Johnson. Yeah, yeah, I would say... It's, it's, it's just accurate. It's what yeah, she she's been said. saying it a lot. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But also I would argue that with this kind of movie of the level of quality that it is. Yeah, you get what you, get what you deserve. Well, you get what you deserve, certainly. <laughs> but also there is a certain segment of the, of the public who, are on, who would only see it if it's being dragged by the people mm-hmm. making it, you know? Absolutely. They're, they're, she's bringing in a certain amount of ticket sales from people going, oh, this is so bad. And, yep. She thinks it sucks and she's in it, so let's we got to say this. You know? probably did account for most of the ticket sales, actually. Yeah. It was the most interesting part of this entire movie. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to say lots of people at Sony are questioning her star power. Oh, oh, oh come on, oh. mate. Don't do that. Yeah, come Don't on, do mate. that to a Hollywood celebrity. She's been in things. She's been in Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yep. Three of them. Yep. And how she reacted to this failure uh, will likely come back to haunt her. One insider told, no, I doubt it. Yeah. At least she'll probably stay at the same level of fame. <laughs> I think so as well, yeah, yeah. For a bit at least. Yeah. It's okay to joke about your movie not doing well, is it? Yes. Okay. And even uh, even lean into bad reviews like Sydney Sweeney did on SNL with her monologue. So that was fine. But producers and Sony aren't laughing over Dakota's continued dragging. Because they don't know how to laugh. They don't. They don't they understand don't. what humor is. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like chewing. That's mm. what they think. And like, it is sort of, I yeah. guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So you aren't laughing over D- Dakota's continued dragging of how she sees the fallout of Madame Web. Now she isn't taking responsibility for its lackluster results. This is not her fault. No. I don't think she's particularly good in this movie, but I don't know. I have no idea what it was even supposed to be. She's not. She's not the draw card. No. I mean, you know, uh, I enjoyed her dispirited performance, mm. but uh, uh, the Me draw too. card of this movie is that it's Spider Man adjacent. Yeah. But it's not Spider Man adjacent enough that anybody cares because guess what? Spider Man's not in it. There's an evil Spider Man. Three spider women in the future or something. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, the downfall of this movie was it's it's the la- it's the dregs of the Spider Man universe. And yeah, man. They just expected that to be a big hit. <laughs> yep. Uh not every movie is going to work. Disagree. But, but a lot of hard work is put towards even bad movies. I actually love every movie. Okay. So I would say Sony executives keep releasing Spider Man and okay. Jason movies. Give us the Sinister Six. Oh, man, I can't wait. But a lot of hard work was put towards put towards even bad movies, and for your star to shit on it looks, uh, is a bad look. They continued. Dakota is being looked down <laughs> God. on. Get over it. Yeah. Over a talk of the film because everyone in the production is thinking, what if the movie was still the same but also a box office gem? 
Impossible. Yeah, impossible. By the way, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if this movie was the yeah, imagine if this movie. Imagine how bad it would be if this movie actually did really well and she yeah. was still doing this. Imagine if the movie. Imagine if the moon was also a piece of cheese. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That'd be cool. We could get cheese from the moon, eat cheese from the moon. A potentially limitless supp- supply, or at least a couple yeah. hundred years worth of cheese. Yeah, what if magic was real? <laughs> and similarly, what if this movie was good and a box office success? Or if the, they didn't no, even say good. What if it was the same? <laughs> it was the same. Well, if it was the same, that'd be great for you executives because you could just make tripe forever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what they want though, isn't it? Because mm. that's their ideal scenario. Imagine if we put no effort into this movie and we interfered with it and everybody knew it was bad and then it made a billion dollars. What if we just put this movie into AI and said make a million identical copies and they all made a billion dollars? Oh, my God. What, I mean, what if? What What's if? a billion movies who make a billion dollars each? How much is that? A billion dollars. God, that's so much. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's really cool. So anyway, that's fun. It's a fun thing that's uh, ongoing and forever. I love mm. that Sony are just like, what happened? Well, where did we go wrong here? Yeah. I don't know. That's, you should figure that out. Yeah. I wonder if it's because... Also, everybody knows but Sony. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Like, everybody who pays world? attention yeah. knows. If you were like, why didn't you see this? You'd be like, I don't know, because I don't know what it is. That's a problem. Yeah. Like, that in itself is, you know, figure that out. But in but in the minds of, I think, these executives and a bunch of Sony shareholders, a movie, a Spider-Man movie... Mm. And a Madam Web movie are the same movie. They don't understand yeah. why. Well, did you see they're re-releasing all the live-action Spider-Man movies to again make this up summer? for this bomb to make their money back? One hundred percent. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. That's all right. At least they've banked some good ones. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Yes. Um, so this is by THR. Now the original cost for this movie was eighty million dollars. That was reported. Um, okay. I don't know how, but apparently it's one hundred. Million dollars. All right then, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently, the current mood on the Sony lot is gloomy. This is via an ins- insider. Gloomy mood on the Sony yeah. lot. I mean, that, that you, you should have had that two years ago when you thought this, you thought about this. Yeah, you the know? gloomy mood should have started when they looked over the available properties and the the first cab off the rank, like the best one. Yeah. Was Madam Web. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. So that's really funny to me that they're like, what happened? Mm. <laughs> That's really- why do you what do you what do you think happened? <laughs> yeah, what do you think happened? Yeah. You tell us Again, in your own words. It, it's the, the the fact that there was no superhero stuff in like it was just in someone's imagination, really. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. God, it was good, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh so this is by also the same article, a theatrical chain executive said on Wednesday night. Uh, this is the lo- Wednesday it came out. Uh-huh. It came out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's right. Um, you could actually watch advanced, advanced purchases, purchase sales declining in real time as buyers were refunding their tickets. Oh. It really says something when you'd rather have Shaz- when you'd rather have Shazam two numbers. I mean, that was a big disaster, and this is a bigger disaster That's than true. Shazam two. It's also a much worse movie. That's probably something to do with it. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> one veteran studio source uh, outside of Sony says. I don't know if women are enough to carry the box office here. So this is this happens every ten to twenty years. Sure, it uh-huh. happened with like Catwoman, Birds of Prey, the Marvels, the Marvels, things like that, where they're like the problem here is women. women. Yeah, <laughs> and not that you made a terrible, unrelatable movie. I saw someone say on Twitter, uh, "This is this is what happens when you turn Spider Man into a girl brand." <laughs> What do you What do you mean? A girl brand, like Venom. Yeah, like Venom. Like gl- classic girl, classic girl action figure line. Venom. You never or seen like, sexy girl Venom? No, I have. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's on. in my dorm room. Post from my dorm room wall. <laughs> yeah. So it's just. I mean, it, it's it's taking the wrong lesson again. You mm. know, that's what's happening here because you know there is a market for people who want to see female led. Yeah. Anything. Uh huh. We've seen that in movies before. We saw it with Barbie last year yeah. and Oppenheimer. That had chicks in it. You, you told better me believe that, it. didn't you? That's right. You looked away. I didn't know. Any yeah. t- anytime there, there was a risk of any women on screen, you looked away. But <laughs> I, I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is by the Ankler. Or awesome. like, you know, Across the Spider-Verse. Exactly. Which is, has female lead characters in it. Yep. And that did very well, I think. I think that's also because that's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe that's the lesson. Or maybe it's just the, the women thing. 